Hello everyone, and welcome to my Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. On July 27, 2023, The Young and the Restless will air. Chance and Chelsea both make their own efforts to assist Summer in moving on. Billy implements a plan, and Lauren and Phyllis get back in touch. Kyle gets up from the bench he was sitting on and runs into Summer as she enters the park while looking at her phone. He sighs and inquires about her day after they apologize. She quips that walking is difficult for her. They uncomfortably strike up a discussion, which swiftly turns to Harrison. He believes the boy is managing the separation well. Audra emerges out of nowhere. Do you not need to be somewhere else? Summer inquires. On her way there, Audra... Audra is told by Summer that her goals are quite clear. Although Kyle is currently vulnerable, he will soon also recognize it. He seems good to me, says Audra. The women are instructed to stop by Kyle. Kyle, in Summer's opinion, is engaging in whatever this is in an effort to suppress his emotions. Kyle tells her that she shouldn't worry about what he does or who he is with anymore. I didn't cause this situation, you did. Audra finds it rather upsetting that Summer is demonstrating her domineering tendencies and that she betrayed Kyle's confidence. Kyle is the official again. Don't ruin your life because of what I did, Summer begs him, adding that even though he might hate her for what she'd done to him, she detests seeing him in this state. You're more capable than this. As she walks away, Audra says to Kyle, Now I get it. Chelsea welcomes Billy at society and assures him that Marchetti has been simpler than she anticipated. He had no doubts about how wonderfully it would go. He gave Chelsea a pep talk, and she is now feeling fantastic and confident. She believes he appears disoriented. Billy informs her that things at Jibot aren't fantastic. He says that he consented to take part in Jack and Diane's risky scheme that they had come up with. He needs to persuade Ashley and Tucker that he is on their side. He describes how they will instigate a conflict and then infiltrate the opposite side. Billy believes it's the proper thing to do, both for Jabot and to save Ashley from Tucker. The goal of this is to reveal Tucker for the fraud that he is. Chelsea exhales. Wow. Tucker is an expert at playing mind tricks, so she questions if he truly wants to get involved in all of this. She would really hate to see him stumble over his old demons after all he's accomplished. Diane makes fun of Ashley at the Abbott home for believing that Jack would never divide the family business with her. Ashley retorts. Diane speculates that she is more motivated than ever to achieve her goals. Ashley will achieve her goals. Ash is prevented from leaving by Diane by informing her that she and Jack are getting married at the courthouse this afternoon. It's what Ashley refers to as a desperate attempt to seduce her brother. Jack, according to Diane, is adamant on demonstrating to her and the other doubters just how genuine their love is. Billy is on her side, she says. Jack will lose everything as a result of Ashley, she scolds, you stupid bitch. Ashley will be the one to lose everything, Diane chuckles. She is told by Ashley that she is out of her depth and unqualified. Just move on, she exclaims as soon as she realizes as possible. Jack is at the GCAC preparing a party for after his wedding when Phyllis runs into him there. How could she unleash this wrath on Diane and her family? He wants an explanation from the redhead. She can reveal her face in public, which astounds Jack. All of this was not what Phyllis ever expected to happen. Jack sneers, you never do. He doesn't believe Stark could have tricked someone as intelligent as her. According to Phyllis, Everyone she cared about deserted her. She deserves it all, but she is curious as to whether he will have the same kind of compassion for her as he did for Diane. Jack contends that she made this decision on purpose. He tells her she has done enough and marches off, despite her desire to make amends to everyone. When Tucker shows up, he remarks, that went well. Phyllis explains that she was taken aback by Jack. If Carson skips her trial, Tucker believes it might also surprise her. Phyllis promises to change this. If you're not going to keep your half of the bargain, I don't know what good you are to me, Tucker says, wondering if he made the right decision. Tucker is informed by Phyllis that she is well familiar with Jack 
and can help him achieve his goals. Tucker demands outcomes. He will forgive Phyllis. What Jack and Diane do next is up to them. She does not want to get up the fight with Diane again. Tucker will reflect on this. Lauren shows up as he exits. She confesses to Phyllis. I've been afraid to see you. She's torn between missing her and resentment for what she made them all go through. They cry and embrace. Phyllis will dedicate the rest of her life to making amends because she loves her and Michael so much. Lauren counsels her to pay attention to Heather and follow her instructions since she's your best chance right now. They embrace one more. As she loses her key witness, Phyllis confides, not even Heather will be able to save her. It's challenging to have patience with Tucker. While acknowledging how suspicious and questionable he is, Lauren cautions Phyllis not to give up. Jack has always had a soft spot for her, so she has faith that he would change his mind. She counsels Phyllis to seek their pardon for herself, Summer, and not Tucker. Audra believes that Summer is still irritating Kyle in the park. He acknowledges that it is challenging. Because she went through that with Noah, Audra can relate. Because of what she learned, she now reacts to situations differently. She prefers to concentrate on activities that are enjoyable for her personally and professionally. Being egotistical is preferable to suffering harm. Although Kyle can see the reasoning, he isn't sure if he is prepared to live that way. Maybe not yet, purrs Audra. Crimson lights bring Summer to the patio and it exhales. Chance notices her and inquires as to her well-being. On the way there, she claims to have had a strange encounter that she hasn't quite shaken off. Chance shares with her how Dom recently made a funny face by moving his mouth into a smile. Summer tells a joke while relating a Harrison-related tale. Thanks, Summer responds to Chance, for remaining in the same direction despite my turbulent demeanor. Chance has been there, and he is willing to assist if he can. Since Summer isn't always the easiest person to deal with, Summer appreciates Chance's consideration for her. Chance mocks, you have your moments. He is glad to support her in any manner he can. Chance leaves the building as Chelsea and Summer arrive for the meeting. Summer responds that she could use all the friends she can get right now as Chelsea praises Chance as a terrific friend. She wishes she and Kyle could be forgiving of one another because she is conflicted. As Chelsea suggested, I still love Kyle. She is unsure that it is possible to let go. How am I supposed to just leave that? Chelsea advises against coercing someone to remain with you. Even though Summer believes he cheated on her, she still wants to keep their marriage together. How is it that he doesn't love me just as much? Chelsea regrets that she must go through this. Summer wants to concentrate on her profession. Jack informs Diane that everything is prepared for their courtroom wedding at the Abbott Mansion. She claims that she asked Kyle to meet them. An earlier fight with Ashley. She believes they ought to start working with Billy right away. They have a chance to humiliate Ashley so that she will eventually leave them alone. She assures him that she is only being pushy out of love. Jack finds that she is correct. If they want to finally put a stop to this war, they must take this to its logical conclusion. When Kyle arrives, Diane informs him that they will be getting married at the courthouse today. Kyle didn't anticipate that. Jack doesn't want to be apart from his mother for another day. Just trying to keep up Kyle. He believes that the action is being driven by external forces. What's really going on here? Jack says that while he does want to emphasize to Ashley how much he loves Diane, that is not the main driver behind their engagement. Diane would like for their kid to join them, but he must decline. He has two consecutive meetings. Kyle, get on, Diane squeals. Why not simply change your schedule for today? Ashley informs Tucker in the park that the situation has significantly worsened. Billy shows in and informs Ashley that Jack and Diane are getting married right now. Ashley listened. Billy claims he believes Jack is going too far with this action. He is obviously rushing towards this. Evidently, he is not married. He is doubting everything after the rush to the altar. Diane, in my opinion, is the mastermind. Jabot worries me a lot. Ashley embraces him. Upon realizing it, she exclaims, Jack is an idiot, with great relief. 
Lauren is excited about Phyllis receiving Jack and Kyle's approval at the GCAC dining hall. She will hopefully be free of Tucker and the accusations made against her. Phyllis wants a fresh start and a second chance with her kids. Despite not trusting Tucker, she needs to exert some control over him to safeguard herself in the event that he kidnaps Carson. Although Heather is Phyllis' best chance at liberation, Lauren cautions her to keep her informed and says she will be by her side the entire time. Summer informs Chelsea at Crimson Lights that she has adapted well to the role at Marchetti. She anticipates record development at Marchetti under the two of them and is ready to share her thoughts. Chelsea reassures Summer that she will be able to move on and find happiness since she is strong. Kyle refuses to rearrange his schedule to attend his parents' wedding at the Abbott residence. They watch him leave in dismay. Diane laments the emotional withdrawal of her son. Jack is aware from personal experience that you don't always make the best choices when you suppress that side of your emotions. Billy tells Ashley and Tucker in the park that he believes Jack's insanity is demonstrated by the wedding. It's a mistake and a major warning sign. Kyle apologizes for being late when he arrives at society to meet Audra. He had to deal with further family conflict. What can Audra do to help, she queries. Kyle says, right now I need to get you alone. He then asks if they can postpone their afternoon meetings. Summer is alone in the park when Chance enters the scene. He queries her well-being. She replies, honestly, no. Everyone continues asking her to let go and move on, but she is unsure about her ability to do so. She hopes things could return to the way they used to be because everything has changed. Chance suggests that sometimes moving forward is the best course of action. She removes Kyle's tie in Audra's suite and gives him a kiss. Do you trust me? She asks as he takes off his shirt. Rotate around. She pulls him onto the bed, blindfolds in with his tie, and then climbs on top of him. Phyllis informs Lauren that Tucker is after Jabot in the GCAC dining room. Lauren cautions that things are precarious. She must identify his weak point before moving forward. Phyllis anticipates having to once more access the original Phyllis. Diane is speechless over how fortunate she is to have such a lovely groom as she sits in the Abbott living room. Billy enters and informs them that he has begun the plan. Jack welcomes Ashley and Tucker into the room and invites them to join them for their civil ceremony. Did you say civil? Cracks Tucker. Billy ultimately concedes that Ashley is correct when she says that he has fully lost his head. Ashley, Billy exclaims. He warns Jack that he's not going to make things simple. This is wrong. You shouldn't be doing this. And if Diane really loved you as much as she claims to, she would end this right now. Jack snarls. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. However, don't miss subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.